Hello, this is Loopline, and in this video I'm going to cover the new ping mode from Scrapebox. So Scrapebox has always had a ping mode option right here, but it just used standard uh, internet ping protocol. So um, very basic, and that used to work to inflate page views. Uh, so your traffic count inflation is the goal here of ping mode. You send a bunch of pings, page requests, page loads, and um, you want like your analytics or website counters, that sort of thing to increase. So that used to work years ago. Uh, then a lot of um, analytics software started discounting actual just like ping mode. So it really became ineffective in many cases for what a lot of people wanted to do. At least the major things that people wanted to go after that I hear all the time, it didn't really work for anymore. So Scrapebox has redone the entire thing and you need to install an add-on if you want to use the new setup. Um, you need version 1.16.62 or newer and you can still use ping mode which has been slightly redone and you can try it that's the multi-threaded one we just tick here and set the number of pings however there is a new option that also supports images in javascript which you're gonna need uh, for a lot of different analytics software because if they see javascript is turned off and images is turned off then they're gonna know that it's just you know probably not a real person browsing the website so you want those things in many cases especially for the major things that a lot of people are after however that means it's single threaded because it then uses the Internet Explorer rendering engine which we'll talk about in a minute but in order to turn on the browser ping mode um, you want to go to settings here and use single threaded browser based ping now I'm not really going to cover too much of the old ping mode. It's pretty basic. I have an old video on it. But if you wanted to use the multi-threaded one, you just tick off ping. You put in the number of pings that you want. Uh, you're going to need proxies. And then you put in your websites, which would be the refers. And then you put in the list of URLs that you want to ping. And so let me define a couple things there. One, whenever you want to send pings you have what's called a refer so when you go to one website website a and then you click over to website b and you follow a link that website b can generally detect that you came from website a it's called a refer so you've got to have some refers in here um, i just put in the word wikipedia and brought up a bunch of links and then i can shoot them down here into transfer to websites list and they go right down here um, and then I'm using those. You can use whatever you want. Sometimes I use the actual website itself as the refer or maybe uh, say I went to a website and I searched for something. I could use that search string as the refer, that sort of thing. Um, and so refers are pretty basic, but you can do more research online on what a refer is if you don't really understand that. And then the URLs that you want to ping. In this case, I have an eZine articles uh, URL loaded that we're going to test with here in just a moment. Um, but this is the URLs that you want to inflate the page views on. Now, it's important to understand how ping mode works, both the multi-threaded and the single-threaded, because it multiplies the number of pings you put here times the refers times the URL. So if I put in one ping here, and then I have 76 sites here that I put in, and I have one here, it's going to multiply 1 times 76 times 1, and we're going to wind up with 76 pings being sent. If I put in 76 refers, and I put in 76 URLs, and I put in 76 pings here, um, then we're going to get something that looks like 76 times 76 times 76, and we're going to wind up with 438,000 page requests being sent. So, total. Now, that those aren't all going to go to one spot. Those 400. 38,000 will be divided between these URLs here, but let's say I put in one URL here and I put in 76 refers and I put in 100 pings. That's going to be 100 times 76. So basically, just so you can see it, because I can do 100 times 76 in my head, but you're looking at 7,600 pings all being sent to this one URL. So it's important to bear in mind what you're doing there. And what's happening is you're going to have 100 pings sent from each refer. So it's going to take wikipedia.org and say that 100 people visited your URL from wikipedia.org, and then 100 from en.wikipedia.org, and then 100 from simplewikipedia.org, etc. So it's important to have that number of proxies as well because... Uh, obviously, eZine Articles is only going to record one view from each IP address. So 
let's say I have 41 proxies right now, it doesn't matter if I put in 100 pings and put in 100 refers and that sort of thing, I'm only going to get a maximum of 41 views because I only have 41 different IP addresses. So you have to have proxies and you need to have the same number of proxies or greater, obviously, of views that you want to generate on the end URL. So say I put 10 different URLs in here, then I could, and I put in one refer, so let's make it simple. Say I put in 10 URLs here, one refer, I could put in 41 pings because 41 times 1 times 1 is 41 and I have 41 proxies, and each one of my 10 URLs here would get 41 views. So hopefully that makes sense. It is important to use proxies and you need as many proxies as views that you hope to generate. And then you also have to take into account that when you use proxies, especially if you're on big sites like eZine articles, um, they may say too much traffic's coming from your region. In other words, there's too many other people using proxies trying to do this and then it's not gonna work at all. So um, you really, the really big sites, you really gotta get out there and hustle and try to bring in unique proxies. Um, and that sort of thing in order to make it work and it may take some experimentation but but you can make it happen. Another thing to note is that um, because this uses IE rendering engine it is both beneficial on that side and susceptible to everything that IE can be problematic with and what that means is for one if it's not working if when you watch the browser based ping mode which we'll see in a minute and it's not working then you need to figure out why it's not working in Internet Explorer. So if, say, you're trying to load a site that has Flash on it and you don't have Flash installed in Internet Explorer, it's not going to work in Scrapebox either. So you have to fix in Internet Explorer whatever the problem is in order for it to work on Scrapebox. Likewise, if you go out there and try to work with sites that have malware on them or other things like that, you're loading the page with Internet Explorer. It's just going through Scrapebox. And so Internet Explorer is susceptible to all those types of things. and uh, Malware isn't so much a big issue, but your big issues are if you have problems in Internet Explorer, and we all know that Internet Explorer is highly problematic, say you have some add-ons installed that are conflicting or they conflict with the page and it causes things to freeze up, Internet Explorer is the problem. So go into Internet Explorer, disable all your add-ons, turn off all the extras that you have if you're not really using that browser um, as your main browser, and just do set it up so it works with what you need to work with Scrapebox in order to get the page views that you're looking for. And so essentially it's going to work with everything. And so let me show you the multi-threaded ping mode. I went ahead and gone to settings and unticked the single threaded option. Um, and I'm just going to set it up here to uh, one ping per refer because I've got a bunch of refers in there. And then let's just grab this URL here and send traffic to it to wiki.com and start the ping and we can see it go through here and basically start sending traffic. Here's the URL that is being loaded, here's the refer that's being used, and then here is the rate that it's going at right now. And on that note, for actual pings, let's just abort this, you can actually control the settings of how fast it goes for ping mode right here under ping websites, that sort of thing. You control the number of settings for the multi-threaded uh, ping. But then also note that the delay applies to it. So I have a delay turned on, so that changes everything. If I turn off the delay and start the ping mode here, you can see it, it whipping through there, obviously really fast. Uh, but again, probably most people are going to want to use, I, I say most people, the people that I know that want to use big sites are going to need to use the browser base. So let's look at that. Tick this off, make sure it's checked off there. I'm going to go ahead and turn on a delay. Um, I'm just going to do like five seconds here so we can see what's going on. If you want to do random R&D, you can go to settings here and adjust the R&D delay range and change it all the way from one second up to a minute. So you have your minimum and your maximum and it picks a random delay in there for each one of those. Pretty handy. Uh, that could be very useful with a lot of sites. So I'm just going to do ping 1 here. I've got my 76 refers loaded in and let's put in an eZine article and let's look to see how many page views it has. I've already run the page views up on this particular one a couple, uh, but let me load it up here for you so you can see it. Here is the page and it, I just refreshed it here and it has 7 views. So let's get out of here. So let's actually look at the browser based ping mode and see if we can increase that eZine article page views. So 
I'll start it up here. You can see as it loads, we can view the page and everything, and then I'll just pause it. And also, I wanted to note, we can see as it goes through here, we have the URL being loaded here. Then we have our refer here, which is the website, and then we have our status codes. Um, success is pretty basic. Uh, you might get 403 or 407 if it was a proxy error, or you might see 500 if uh, the web server failed to load, that sort of thing. And so as it actually loads the page here, you can actually scroll down and see you know, what's going on. Um, and sometimes it takes a while to update on page views because it still says viewed seven times. Um, so once we get done here, we'll let it sit for a few minutes and then I'll refresh the page. Okay, so it's run for just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to stop it here and then let's go ahead and go back to our page and refresh and see if we got anything above seven views here. And looks like we got it up to, to 12 times. So we increased it by five uh, and I let it run there. Obviously, I hit it with more than five views, um, but it only recorded five views. My guess is that eZine Articles has a time frame where they say that you know views on a given article can't increase faster than whatever. I'm sure they take their whole database and say, on average, an article isn't viewed more than once every two and a half minutes. So they say they're only going to count page views once every two and a half minutes. I don't know. I'm making that up. Um, but I'm sure they have something, obviously, because it only increased five times. Uh, and it should have increased more than that, probably about you know, like 50 times. So um, some sites will take some tweaking. Ezine articles obviously is going to take some tweaking. If you're going to do them, I would mix in, you know, other sites, even if it's just fake sites, or add a longer delay or that sort of thing. But it can be done. Has to be massaged a little bit, if you will. Uh, but it can be done. So let's look at another example here. So let's take my Scrapebox Marketplace site, for example. And I have all stats here, and let's just update it so we get the most up to the date, uh, which is 2,960 unique visitors for the month of January. So let's go ahead and let me get this set up, and I'll load it into Scrapebox, and we'll run that number. And so I went ahead and got it set up. I just loaded it in here. The uh, actual just home page is all we're going to worry about. Still have my uh, referrers in here. And let's go ahead and let's just put it for like a three second delay so we don't just uh, hammer the server. Um, in fact, let's do five seconds. And then we'll start the ping. And we can see it load up here and it loads the full page, all that sort of good stuff. And then it's delaying. You can note that. And then I'll just pause the video here where it goes through and does that. Okay, so it's running for just a bit. Let's stop it here. And let's go back to all stats. And so we've got 2,960. Let's hit update now and see where we land. And so we jumped it up from 2,960 to 3,015. So 55 visits. So just threw some traffic at it. Got 55 unique visitors there uh, in just a matter of a few minutes. And so that is a better example of how quick you can run up traffic. Obviously, you would need a lot of proxies if you wanted to run up a thousand visitors on one site. You'd need a thousand proxies, that sort of thing. But, you know, you can, uh, most sites will log one IP per day. So if you had a hundred private proxies, you could visit the site a hundred times a day uh, and in a month rack up 3,000 views. Um, if you wanted to go out there and, you know, if you had a bunch of private proxies, those will be fast. If you wanted to use public proxies, you can do that. You know, and public proxies are fairly abundant. And then the nice thing about running up traffic with a public proxy is that you don't have to worry about being Google Pass or that sort of thing. You just need an anonymous public proxy and it's going to work. Obviously, if you try to go using public proxies on like eZine articles and everybody else is do using the same proxy to do the same thing, it's not going to work. Um, so in some cases, you may need to to do different things or find different sources and that sort of thing but that's how the browser ping mode works uh, and then the old ping mode still is there the multi-threaded option but the new one that uses javascript and images that's how it works and that's how you can use it to inflate or increase page views and traffic views for various sites and statistics software and that sort of thing